I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey everybody, so today is a craft day a project day. I have picked up an old lamp and it's pretty unremarkable right now, but I have something kind of special planned for it. So let me show you the lamp and we're going to uh, do the whole kind of restoration uh, transformation on this episode today. So stay tuned, we'll show you the lamp and hopefully you're going to think it's pretty cool. So here it is, a 1960s, possibly 70s Spanish Revival lamp. It's fairly ornate and it's not in great condition which is why it's at a car wash. This piece came out of a dusty old shed where it had been sitting for probably about 25 years. Now since I'm going to be redoing all the wiring on it, I'm not too worried about getting it wet right now, but I really want to get all the dust, cobwebs, and all the dirt off of it before I start to work. And because of the style of the lamp, I've headed down to Mexico for a little inspiration, and I'm looking at Dia de Muertos, the Day of the Dead, a celebration of life and a celebration of your ancestors who have passed on. Lots of great colors and great decorations, and maybe I could apply some of that to our project. And as I'm picking out colors, it's important to know that I'm trying to find colors that represent the Day of the Dead. Each color, such as pink or purple or yellow or red, stand for something different. And I want to make sure that I'm trying to make this somewhat accurate and also respect the culture too. And while I'm here, I'm going to see if I can find something to light up the individual skulls. I'm looking for fairy lights or something similar. So let's see if we can find something. They didn't have exactly what I was looking for, but I did find a good alternative and I think it's going to work out. And I've done a few quick sketches to get some inspiration for what I might want to do with this design and also what I might want to do with the colors. And for the past week or so, I've put on Facebook and uh, asked a lot of my friends if anybody had extra Crystal Head Vodka Skull Bottles. I need six of these. These are going to become my new shade for my Day of the Dead chandelier. So I'm going to get painting and try and dress these guys up. So I've come up with a few designs already for what I want to do. A lot of the skulls would have flowers and vines and petals and roses on them. So we're going to try and dress this guy up just a little bit, but we still have to have light come through. Before I land on the paint scheme for the skulls, I have to figure out what the main chandelier itself is going to look like. So I've got to do a little disassembly and start getting the old wiring out. Next, I have to take the panels apart, sand them down, and get the paint on them. So I picked a paint that has a primer built in, so it should go on pretty easily. As I start layering the paint in, I want to make sure I filled all the cracks and all the little pieces here so that there's no sign of this old wood finish coming through. After I have this base coat on, I'll do a second coat and then start to fill in the details later. But now I've got to get painting and finish up the rest of these panels. And here they are, they're just about done. Another coat of paint and I have to touch up all the edges and they should be ready for some detail work. Now that the paint has dried, I'm going to start working in some detail and I'm going to use the carving that's already existing in here and try and accent it with the orange and the purple colors to try and set it off. So that's what's next. And I want this piece to be vibrant and colorful and I also want it to look as though it's hand painted so I'm not being overly fussy and taping anything off because it is a handcrafted piece and I think that adds a little bit of the charm to this type of item. So I'm going to get going, get all these other pieces finished and hopefully by the end of tonight I'll have it all ready to reinstall back inside of the frame. But it's coming along and while this is drying I've got to paint some skulls. I've started to add some detail to some of the skulls. So here's a plain crystal head vodka skull and here's a little bit of painting. So I've done some floral accents on the eyes, I've darkened the eye sockets, added some detail and it's definitely looking different. I think it's looking pretty cool. A few more to go. And each one of these six skulls is going to be unique and different. And I would say this is an interpretation of a sugar skull. So if you're watching and saying it's not accurate, I know this is just for fun. My interior panels have dried and now I can start to reassemble them into their octagon pattern, get the lampshade inside and get this thing all put together. So I've got the framework painted red, which represents the blood of life. 
Uh, next step is going to be installing the wooden frame and the globe back inside the middle and start to redo the wiring. The old wiring was dry and brittle, so I'm starting to replace it with some new lamp wiring, and I am able to upcycle and use some of the old sockets off of this shade, so I'm gonna use this one for the interior. With the center piece of the chandelier installed, I'm now starting to add some detail paint. What I wanna do is just use the edge of the brush and slowly dab and go all the way around so that I only hit the edge of the metal bar. If I try and brush it on sideways, it might actually start to uh, brush on the middle and make a big mess. So I'm going to very carefully go all around and add the blue. And the reason I'm doing the blue here is to try and tie the color of the center of the chandelier all together so it makes sense. I finished installing the wiring to each and every socket and the center is lighting up nicely. Now I'm going to go around and test each individual socket to make sure that the wires are working correctly before I finish it off and start to install the skulls. So I've got a few more finished. These are going to go on the chandelier, but I've got to get it to the shop first and install these after because I don't want anything getting broken along the way. Okay, so I've been working on this lamp pretty much all week. I'm just about done. Today's the big day where I'm gonna hang it up in the shop, light it, get the skulls in place, and show you what it's gonna look like. Let's have a look. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Bum, ba, -da -lum, bum, 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 ta-da! <laughs> So this is my crazy idea. It's a Dia de los Muertos chandelier. I've taken the crystal head vodka skulls and made them into my interpretation of a sugar skull. We've got the red of the vine, which is signifying the blood of life. We've got the yellow light in the middle for the sun, and of course the purples and greens. So hopefully other people are gonna think this thing is cool too. So it has a nice prominent spot in my shop and I'm still waiting to put up a couple more skulls, but overall it's looking pretty darn cool. And I don't think there's another one like this out there, though, and that's what I like, having different stuff in the store that you just haven't seen before. So thanks so much for tuning again this week. I hope you liked our little craft project. It's something different and a little bit unique, but I love it, and it's got a great spot above our desk here, and it looks fantastic. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca. We're on Facebook and Instagram as well. But thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.